Hello everyone and welcome back to Wolf Quest 2.7 and we are here with Atlas, our little goofy goofy boy with his little coloring of his mom, a little bit of his very goofy grandfather soul showing through in the red patches on his right and we are still exploring the Lost River area and this is just, oh, it's just so pretty and I really like coming down here with him and actually let's see. I think there's another house over here. And thank you guys so much for your advice on where we can go to find more of the achievements. Because Atlas, our adorable little boy here, is going to be our achievement hunter. Atlas, can I get a really good look at you? Oh, look at his little collar. Isn't that just the cutest? And apparently we won't get the Easter egg. The Easter egg for his collar is actually the ability to be chased around a little bit by a plane if we were over in the creek or perhaps even the mountain areas. So I was thinking some of you guys have said that you really want to see his genetics passed on. So do you think after he finds a mate, you guys would like to see Atlas be able to uh, go ahead? Oh, look at the little doghouse. Yay! Oh, we got another achievement! Roof and four walls. Sit in a home of your own. Perfect, perfect. Can we wiggle out of there? But do you guys want to see Atlas start his own pack and perhaps find a lovely mate of his own? Well, we're going to find the mate, but, you know, we'll find the mate from here. And then maybe start a pack of his own over in the creek area. And we might follow him for a little bit longer if you guys would like to. I think he's he's definitely a lot stronger and he's got a lot more stamina than his brother, Nightlight. But he is really goofy in my opinion. He just is a lot goofier than Soul. And we are actually headed back to the two-step right now. Because you guys said that there is a staircase that we missed. And that is what we need to find is a staircase case up to an even bigger waterfall. And that's going to give us the achievement so that Atlas is going to be able to just explore these open fields. And find where we need to go. And get all of the achievements because he's a very curious, adventurous wolf that way. Alright, we'll wiggle up here. It is very pretty. He's starting to get a little hungry though, so we might pop back over and do a little bit of hunting for elk soon. Might do that in the town. That would be a good spot to do that in. Alright, so here we go. I can hear the waterfall in the distance. So we're gonna run up here. We're sniffing around. I wonder how long it's been since people have been here. Alright, is this a path? Oh, look at this! This is a path! This is stairs! No way! We actually found the stairs! I'm so excited! All right! It was so shadowy, it didn't really look like anything. But this, sure enough... There we go! The two-step. Visit the Lost River Waterfall viewpoint. And here we are. So there is another waterfall up there. Oh, and look at that! That is so pretty! That is really so pretty. Oh, what are my... What's my little like keys again it's the interface help the camera orbit to zoom in and out that's what i want all right let's go ahead resume and can i zoom out oh look at that we can actually get a good view of the waterfalls that's so pretty no wonder they're called the two step because it looks like there's the two little waterfalls right there oh that's lovely atlas your brother may be more of a wild wolf than you but i think that you know, I think that he enjoys discovering things. And that's something that Nightlight, I think, just wouldn't be interested in. Nightlight's too busy chasing off the coyotes and the grizzly bears. Can you believe Nightlight ran across a grizzly bear yesterday? I was so surprised. All right, and I'm really excited because... There you go, Atlas. Especially if you guys want to see Atlas have at least one litter. I think Nightlight and his pups are going to officially carry on the moon packs. But if you guys want to see Atlas have at least one litter, then I would be totally fine with that little litter of pups and we can continue to follow the brothers around and on the weekends maybe on saturday maybe on sunday one of those days we'll have a super special extra long episode of wolf quest where we'll follow both of the brothers around for a day there we go for a day in their lives and then we'll swap back to the other one midway through and just see how things go all right well let's head over let's see hunting grounds next perhaps let me think about it yeah let's go back to the back 40 Yum! Splash through that creek so fast. And I think, did we do some hunting? I think we did do a little bit of hunting. All right. Oh, and the little bird stopped chirping. Oh, are we going to enter the other wolf area? I did want to visit with the wolves over there. So let's come over here. We'll do a little bit of elk hunting. And then we will sniff around for the wolves. And then we'll turn around. And we'll work our way over maybe towards Grant's Glen. 
And from there, we will work our way into town because there will be plenty of things to sniff in town. All right, we're almost into the elk area. I don't see any any carcasses laying around for us. All right, let's see. Here's scent view. Up, 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 up. Elk, three minutes ago, hmm? Three minutes, two minutes ago, one minute ago. Oh, they're moving pretty slow. <gasps> there they are. There are the elk. All right, Atlas, we've hunted with your brother. Now it's time to get to know what it's like to hunt with you. All right, let's sneak down here. Not that we really stand a chance of not standing out because he's such a dark wolf. All right, come on. They're all very healthy cow elk. You're, you've got a healthy herd here, Mr. Bull Elk. Nice healthy herd. Can we flush out a, a weaker one? Oh my. Come on, ladies. Anybody want to move it and groove it? Anybody at all? Oh my gosh, they're all super duper healthy. Oh wait, 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 there was a weaker one. Aha! So these three might be, aha, that one's really weak. All right, we've narrowed it down. We've figured out which one has a little bit of a limp, which one isn't quite at the peak of her health. And we're gonna chase her. Come on, dinner. Dinner on the hoof, come here. His stamina isn't budging at all, I can't believe that. In fact, his stamina doesn't even go down until he starts hunting. Oh my gosh, Atlas. I actually really do wanna like go ahead and have a litter with him now because he's so strong. I can't believe how strong he is. All right, let's continue chasing the food. The food is very fast and running completely the wrong direction from where I wanted to explore next, but that's okay, food. You can't help it. All right, come on, come on. All right, we've got her. Got her cornered. Wow, look at the high grounds. Alice, you're not a bad hunter at all. All right, let's go ahead. Can I just grab? Can I grab at this point? And almost. Oh, she really did some damage. All right, there we go. Man, that's amazing. He lost almost no stamina at all on that chase. That was fantastic. Wow. All right, well, while we're over here, let's head back over to these hills because I really want to see if we can find some of the, the wolves over here just to introduce him. And I think he'd be kind of timid and he'd kind of run away from them because that's just the way Atlas is. All right, let's run up here. Dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun into the hills. Yeah, we're almost there. All right, we want to turn a little bit like this. That's better. Now we're facing the right direction. So these wolves are kind of interesting because I think there's another pack. Yeah, there's two more packs that are a little bit closer to where the humans are. But these guys are much closer to like the mountainy areas. Oh, here we go. All right, got to put our sniffer to the ground. We're in the territory. We can smell, I, I suppose, the vague like leftover pee from territory markers, and now we just need to find where the actual wolf is, if we can do so. I hope we have enough points to do so. Hello, other wolf. Oh man, where are they? Did we accidentally like get out of the area? No, we're still here. Just no, no wolf smells yet. All right, let's see, what about down here? Is nobody gonna show up? Nobody at all? Huh. Poor Atlas. We ran all this way to try to see if we can find another wolf. They kind of have like a hilly area. Territory marker, territory marker. This is a lot of territory markers. Is this an entire pack? Oh wait, wait, we're going the wrong way. Oh my goodness. Look at all these territory markers. Oh wait, it all converges right here, okay. Oh, we've rocked right past a wolf. Hello, how are you? Oh, you've got some nice, pretty interesting colors. Lost River female, huh? Well, let's come up and say hello. Who are you looking at? Um, let's see. What about, I'm not boss? Oh, I'll just stay here. Um, I'm no threat to you? What do you think? Are we being, I just think that Atlas would be the total opposite of his brother. No, I don't want to get going. You're stronger than I am. Don't you want to be friends? That is totally him. That's totally the way Atlas would act. Aw, oh, man. All right, I can take a hint. Poor Atlas. All right, we'll get out of here. 
she was not she was not looking for love that lady but i think that's because we don't have yeah we, he's barely got any experience so if we want to manage to get atlas a mate and follow his litters which is a choice like you guys can let me know in the comments like is that something you really want is that something you're impartial to should we focus just on nightlight and his litters and if you guys do want to do multiple litters i was thinking i still would love to see eclipse be able to have one more successful litter like to find a new mate and have one more successful litter so i was thinking maybe as like a christmas special sort of thing we could do some long episodes of eclipse finding another mate and then eclipse uh being able to successfully raise another litter like as a christmas special to end the year but none of his puppies will count towards the next generation that'll be nightlight's puppies unless like one of atlas's just somehow steals everyone's hearts <laughs> Oh, I think there's a little bunny over here. We can have a little bit of bunny. Oh, no, this is an elk. Holy moly. There's just a whole dead elk right here. Jeez. Did we do this? I don't think we did this because he only has 100 experience points. Like 135. There we go. Well, we fed our belly. We've explored around a little bit. So let's start wiggling through the back 40 up around the hills and work our way into Grant's Glen. Um, Let's see. Yeah, and maybe... I mean, we, we sniffed the... I'm pretty sure we sniffed the cabin. Was there anything that... There was a, a, any achievements at the cabin? I don't think so. Find the trail sign at Sloth Creek. Okay, that's not what we want. Boot prints in Sloth Creek. That would be really cool. Um, visit the Lost River Fire Tower. And a spot for comfort. Home on the range. Unauthorized. The two-step. Where's the other? Ashes to ashes. Tanks for the view. Alright, we should be able to find plenty of things with these achievements. I'm gonna run back over to the cabin just to make sure there wasn't anything there, but I don't think there was. Pretty sure there wasn't. Um, yeah, that's the cabin, all right. So we'll hit the cabin again, and then we'll work our way over to, oh, what was that, a hare? A bunny, where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Oh, we got him, we got him. He's so fast, whoa, and he's so strong. That was just like a one hit kill on the poor bunny. Oh my goodness. But yeah, we'll run over to the cabin just one more time to make sure. This is this just the adventures of Atlas, you guys. <laughs> totally what I would imagine he's like, where he would just zigzag all over the place, just be a goofball that way. All right, there we go. Up, up, up. Up, up, up. There you go, pup, pup. And then down. And then down again. All right. I just really like this cabin, too. I really like Atlas. He has, like, Nightlight is awesome because you feel like the strong, powerful, like, shadowy wolf. And then Atlas is just adorable because he's adorable. All right, so let's poke around here a little bit. I just want to make sure we're not going to miss anything before we head over. Is there anything over here? Like, hiding in the corners? Maybe. That's true. There's always... Oh, there's another bunny! Another bunny! Look at that! One bite! One bite and the bunny is down! We can actually- I guess we're getting a tiny bit hungry. Can we eat it? We nibbled it a little bit. We maybe had some rab rabbit legs for lunch. No, I don't see anything up here. But you do tend to find like a lot of little Easter eggs on this map. And I know I missed quite a few. A lot of people were like, Sierra, you missed so many! You missed so many! So that's why I want to like triple check before we move on. Hmm. I don't think I'm missing anything over here. I think we pretty much covered it. Cabin. Empty cabin. Rocking chairs. Can we jump on this? I don't think so. Uh, what's the jump again? I always forget what jump is. Uh, da -dun -da -dun -da -da. Feed pups, play bell. Wagtail. Um, hmm. Jump is X. There we go. I always forget that. Can we jump? What about now? Nope. <laughs> nope. All right. So nothing there. All right. Well, let's move on. I guess that there isn't anything in the cabin. I just felt like there would be an achievement in the cabin, but apparently not. And let's go across these little bumpy hills. And then we will work our way over to where I know the fire tower is because it's just, just, just zigzagging all over the place. Just is totally what I imagine Alice to be like, just like do 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 kind of eaten on the run. Even though he's kind of a goofball, he is pretty strong. I imagine maybe it's from running around all the like all the time. 
He actually has gotten a lot of endurance. He His stamina almost never goes down until we actually get into the actual fighting, which is pretty cool. Um, Yeah, we should be able to wiggle in. Let's poke around Glen Grant's Glen. I keep wanting to call it Glen's Glen because Glen from The Walking Dead is one of my favorite characters ever. And I keep tripping up on his name. All right, are you an achievement? Are you an achievement moving stuff? What about over here? Little rubble piles, maybe? Man, that's a huge truck. It feels even bigger because we're a wolf. <laughs> All right, let's go read the creepy signs again. Personally, I, I think it's kind of awesome how the mailboxes all have the flags up. Little details. Uncle Henry. Man, Susan and Uncle Henry, those names are going to just like haunt Atlas's like nightmares. So that you won't understand what happened. <laughs> Remember over here is where we ran into that bear? Oh my gosh, I wonder if he's gonna be down here again. That carcass isn't over here this time. But we did run into the bear right over here with Eclipse. And that was pretty awesome. Alright, well, let's see. We'll be back someday. Very optimistic thinking there. You know what really gets me? Because a lot of people are like, oh, it must have been an earthquake because of the, like, cracks in the road. Well, un... Like, oh, there's a bunny again. Man, Atlas just has, like, all this luck with rabbits. They just show up out of nowhere for him. And got him. All right, there's there's our rabbit dinner right there. We'll just kind of nibble it a little bit. Atlas, you don't get a lot of experience points for rabbit, so I don't know if that's going to be very helpful. But a lot of people theorized, oh, the cracks in the road. It must have been an earthquake. But asphalt roads will actually start looking like this over time, especially when grass and things are able to start growing in it and their roots push the asphalt across. And all of the windows are fine. All of the glass is fine. All of the brick buildings are fine. Those things aren't fine after an earthquake. Um, and especially like the the ditch, Hank's ditch or Hitch's ditch. What's, his, what's that called again? Yeah, Hank's ditch isn't cracked at all the like smokestacks aren't fallen over so i definitely it's not an earthquake it's totally something to do with the creepy weird creepy weird little thing uh the like science research center across little hank's ditch all right anything any achievement for in here hello doghouse hello it's a nice it's a nice you know little shelter from the elements there and I think we'll go ahead and we will leave Atlas here. And then next time we will start running up to the hilltop and make sure that we go visit some of the fire towers up there carefully because last time Eclipse got stuck in one. And then we'll work our way down into town and start exploring over there for more of the achievements. So I look forward to sharing Atlas's story with you guys. And next time we'll be swapping back over to Nightlight as he continues to chase off bears, hunt elk, and hopefully find the perfect female to be his mate and start up the Eclipse Moon Pack. Or excuse me, the Nightlight Moon Pack. It's so hard to let go of their father. He, he left us too early. It's so sad. But all right, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.